at a certain point, I just decided instead of laying in bed staring at the ceiling, I would like start exploring the night. Hi, I'm Jeremy Perez Cruz. I'm a street photographer in New York City, and tonight we're shooting with the Google Pixel 5a. Shooting a night with the Google Pixel is great. One, you don't need a big setup, and so a lot of photography is opportunistic. You never know what you're going to see. You're always prepared. You always have a camera with you, and it just so happens to be a great camera. All right, I just see this light over here. I want to check it out. Yeah, these are some fun moments where we're talking about the shutter drag. You can get a lot of movement if you overexpose it a little bit. I'm taking bets on if someone's going to walk through that door again, so I'm just going to wait for a minute and see what happens. So sometimes if you have a really dark scene like this and you don't have a tripod with you, it helps. Like there's a, we're shooting through a window right now, and so we're using the window to sort of steady the phone because the exposure is going to be a little bit longer. And Nightside will compensate for it. It's got a really good algorithm to it that cleans up the photo, but uh, it helps if you can be as still as possible. And again, by like exposing for the highlights a little bit, we lose any of the flares or overexposures, and I think we get a little bit moodier of a photo. For someone shooting at night for the first time, the one thing I would tell them is find light and stay curious.